Hi, my name is Kristen and my practice is well balanced. And so, so often in my videos, you'll hear me talking about more emotional healing, how our body and our fascial tissue, I'm a fascial stretch therapist and a Reiki practitioner and a somatic experience practitioner, which all has to deal with the body, mind and spirit coming back together for wholeness. But I don't talk enough, I think, about just physical aches and pains, um, even though that is a very, very big part of my healing practice as well. Um, and so my friend Lori here sells this LED platinum uh, therapy light. And we were on our hike the other day and I was telling her, you know, I'm mean, always talking about my, my little knees here that um, have some arthritic issues in them. And I just learned to live with it. And she goes, my gosh, you should, I'm starting to sell this LED platinum red light therapy. You should come and try it after our hike. And I said, well, I know I've heard about that therapy. A friend of mine who is a, ther a physical therapist actually sells the mats that you lay on. And I actually have a mat. And she said, this is so much better. So yes, even for myself, but also in my practice, I want something to help people with inflammation and healing on a deeper level, not only emotional, but yes, I still do deal so much with the physical. Uh, and again, they go hand in hand a lot of times. So after a hike, long story short, I went and I tried three minutes um, in front of this with my knee and I, the inflammation was gone. I remember Amazing. going, what is this? I, know. <laughs> I said, oh my gosh, I need one. And, uh, and not only did the inflammation go, I have to say this before Lori starts to tell her little story is, when we were hiking, I was thinking like, why does Lori's skin look so good? <laughs> I was like, she is like Benjamin Button. She's going backwards in life. And so I said, okay, so enough about like my arthritis and my knees. Why does your skin look so good? And so she said, well, it's the red light therapy as well. And I'm like, okay, now I'm totally signed on. <laughs> so with that, with that kind of uh, segue, Lori, tell us a little bit about this and how it heals. Okay. So as a former Pfizer pharmaceutical rep uh, for seven years. Um, I learned two things in the, with that training. Uh, number one, I learned how to read the package inserts, you know, the little tiny fine print that comes with every medication you've ever taken. And I also learned how to read, understand, and interpret clinical trials, which are designed to prove efficacy against mm -hmm. the placebo effect. So the reason that I got behind and was so interested in red light therapy is there are over 5,000 clinical trials that have been, been conducted with red light therapy. So there's two types of therapy. So if we go back to the sun mm -hmm. and sun as a healing um, modality, it was used for many, many years, but the sun has a couple of side effects that are not so positive. It um, has UV rays to them, right? Which can burn the skin and also cause skin cancer. But the sun has every spectrum of light in it. And what they've done is they've isolated the red and near infrared light waves as a healing modality. And the benefit of the red light therapy is that uh, unlike the sun, it does not have um, it has little to any known side effects of it. Uh, the most common side effect that happens is it zaps your energy and you just feel a little bit uh, worn out after a treatment. Kind of if you would imagine if you spent an entire day in the sun, you might feel a little bit zapped from, from that, but it's very, very uncommon. So there are virtually no side effects with this. So what red light and red light therapy does is red light is the longest wavelength and it is able to, when you stand in front of it, penetrate into the tissues of your skin. It also penetrates into and is absorbed into the blood. And it also is um, activates the bone marrow to produce stem cells. So I'm going to go back to biology 101. I'm going to keep this as lay as I can, but it, within a cell, the cell has um, a mitochondria and the mitochondria produces ATP, which is the energy restorative process of the cell. And if you think about aging, there is no process in your body that does not include um, mitochondria at the aging, at the aging process. And so what red light therapy does is when you use it, it helps to um, produce that energy and then the healing also through the stem cells. So it has been studied to reverse hair loss. It has been studied to even out the skin texture and increase collagen and elastin. And I love these um, more um, aesthetic types of healings that we get from real light therapy. But what I'm really, really excited about 
are the internal issues that can be healed from red light therapy. They've used it uh, where they've put it onto the head and it has started to reverse um, symptoms of depression and anxiety. They're using it to treat kids with ADHD and autism. They're using it to reverse dementia. They're using it to heal mental illnesses. They're using it to um, heal different um, symptoms like from people who have Parkinson's disease, people who have had stroke, they're using it and it's reversing the stroke issues. People who have head injuries, um, heart attacks, they're studying it right now for things like COVID-19. They're studying it to heal injuries, sports injuries, carpal tunnel, mm -hmm. runner's knee, mm -hmm. IT band injuries in the knee. All of these things that I've mentioned have real scientific clinical mm -hmm. trials that have been conducted to show that it has efficacy over placebo. It also helps to build muscle. It helps to lose fat and it helps to heal things like diabetic ulcers that that diabetics get on the bottom of their feet. And when those ulcers get really bad, people have to have their feet amputated. So it has the ability to reverse injuries like that, that your body has had a hard time healing naturally mm -hmm. and restore yourself really to homostasis. So that's what it's, it's ultimately doing is it's working at the deep level in the tissue. So the reason that something like this, a panel is more effective than say like a mask that you would put on your face or a mat is that you need power, enough power to take that red light and put it and push it into your body to get to the tissue. So when you use it for your skin, you actually don't stand very close to it. You stand a little bit further away so that it can hit the large organ of skin on your body, which is the largest organ on your body. And it can then heal the, the skin and the derm through the dermis. It's not going any deeper than that. But if you're going to start to do things like work on depression or hair loss or um, injuries, it's got to be close so that it can go into the tissue. It's also absorbed by the mitochondria in the blood. So it's also systemically being um, washed through your entire system. So it is an amazing technology. And the reason that you probably haven't heard about it is because the people that are actually using it, like every sports team that you can probably think of right now has red light therapy in their, in their locker rooms. And, and as soon as athletes are coming off the field, they're using it. They're using it to uh, before their workouts to build muscle. And they're especially using it as soon as there's an injury. And then um, the reason they're not talking about it is because for a lot of these sports teams and Olympic teams, this is a competitive advantage. The other reason that you're not hearing a lot about it is because the doctors are not really using it very much. Insurance hasn't found a way that they're reimbursing doctors when they're talking about it to, um, to, to recommend it. So until that changes, um, it might take a little bit longer for it to become more mainstream, but make no mistake, mm -hmm. it has healed things. I think my first experience was probably the one that I was like, okay, I got it. I got it. I had pulled a hamstring when I was running and I was getting ready to do a big climb, a 21 mile climb that climbed 10,000 feet. And I thought, oh my gosh, it's going to take me two weeks to heal from this. I did three treatments, three 10 minute treatments, three days in a row, and it was completely healed. And five days later, I was on that hike and did it and never felt my injury. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've used it to treat burns. I've used it to treat what, you know, I've hit my foot on a stool and it hurts like crazy. Um, it took a bruise away. I mean, it's just, it's, it's amazing what it's doing. They're even using it like for people as we age, we start, our memory starts to be affected. They did a study where they took adults that didn't have any other comorbidity. So any other issues and they weren't taking any medicine and they used red light therapy on them. And then they had a control group and they asked them to name four legged creatures that began with like the letter B and the control group um, versus the red light therapy group, red light therapy group named five times as many as the control group. So there are even mm -hmm. ways that you could improve your memory through something like this. So well, it's a it. it's miraculous because it's actually using your body to heal. Right. Well, and I love it when you were saying about um, athletes and stuff, and I do work with professional athletes. I have um, a, a few that I've been working with for years and they do the red light therapy. Um, so really what it is asking, uh, what is not asking, what it is doing for our bodies is, is reducing the inflammation and healing on a cellular level. And anytime I'm working with someone and they have a reoccurring uh, injury, it really is also about 
the inflammation and inflammation is 90% of a lot of diseases. That's um, true. It's either like she was saying, Parkinson's and dementia and, and diabetes and all those things, those are inflammatory and depression, anxiety. Those are all inflammatory diseases. And so anything that can help give, I always tell my clients, you want to cool your body down in order to heal. Your body will never heal if it's constantly inflamed. And so this is, I am so excited. I, I ordered mine a few weeks ago and it's coming in. And I'm so excited to use it on my clients who have um, chronic back pain, who have, yes, who, who are, who are uh, suffering from Lewy bodies, dementia, or they are in the midst of cancer treatments and, right. and all those, you know, I, I work with a lot of uh, injury ailments and diseases. And so I don't, I don't know. I was so excited about this. And, and I trust Lori because she is so thorough about her, <laughs> um, such a, a thorough person with her research and she has done her research. And then also my friends who are physical therapists use it as well. And I have some doctor clients that use the mat, but I really feel like this light panel. So I'll, I'll keep you posted as I use it on my clients. And if, and as Lori learns more about the different healing um, studies and properties, we will keep you posted. So but, Kristen, yeah. I'll, what I'll offer to you in the, your audience, um, we can, we, you can put a, a link below in your okay. description. And if you want to use that link, you can get 5% off, which is the biggest discount that they give for this therapy. As you could imagine, it's uh, back ordered quite a bit because it is so incredibly popular. It sells out as soon as they get shipments in there sold out. So it might take you um, a week or two to be able to get your unit, but you can get a 5% off discount if you use that, that oh, link. That's great. Um, yeah. And I've, I've told some clients about it because I'm so excited. And my, my doctor, client. It was like, ah, uh, I want one. And I'm not a salesperson at all. And I am about healing and, and he is very aware of this as well. So we are all super excited about just to see even in my practice, how it's going to help people take that next level. Cause think about this too. And then we'll go ahead and end when we are in physical pain, it, it affects our emotional state. And that's why I'm always saying on my website and, and, and on my, um, YouTube videos that emotional, physical go hand in hand a lot, because if you are someone who loves to hike, like Lori, she wants to go hike on a, a big mountain and she is injured that emotionally affects her because that is something that she loves to do. And so quite often when we are halted by our physical issues that causes an emotional component, even reverse though, too, emotional components cause the physical illness. So really at all, we are body, mind, and spirit, right? We are, we are all three and we cannot separate them. So it's true. Thank you. Okay. So I'll include that link and, um, and we'll keep you posted as, as we go through this, uh, journey, more journey and studies. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>